So in the earlier part, what we have done is we have created these two instance or two objects, it's OBJ and OBJ1, and they were execute they were executing sequentially because we have only one thread, right? It's the main thread. But what if if I let me just run this run this once again? Let me remove this variable r here just to reduce the number of lines. And now if I run this, you can see it says instance created only one. But what if if I run this with thread, so let me create two threads, one is thread uh, t1, and in this let me say, let me create this runnable object, that is runnable, and this runnable object, what it will do is it will have a method which is public void run, okay, and in this let me just cut and paste it here, and I will write it the same statement, same thread twice, so let me just copy it and paste it here. So we can have the same name object which is obj obj, but we have to change the thread name. So now we have two threads t1 and t2 and both are creating the same object or same, uh, the, both are calling the same get instance method. And let me start both the thread at the same time. So let me say t1 dot start and t2 dot start. So this is how we create threads, right? and we are calling start. So now this t1 will try to create the get, in, it will call get instance. It, since it will be the first time, it says, it says, okay, instance created, and it will print, and then uh, it will create the object, it will, it will call instance created. When you got the second get instance, it will check, okay, so objects are, object is already created, so it will not create the new object, it will directly use the same reference. But let me run this now. And run this, it says instance created two times, and there is a problem now. You are using a singleton design pattern, and you are getting two instance. How it's possible? It is possible because we are calling both the thread at the same time. So what they are doing is, they are executing this method at the same time. Both entering this section at the same time, and both says, <coughs> okay, so object value is null. I, let me create the object and both are creating the object. Now question arises: how to stop this. So let me run this again. So every time you run it, will get, it, will it will create two instances. So one of the way to stop this is, how about if I make this method synchronized? So it simply means if one thread is entering this section of get instance, the second thread need to wait. So that the first thread will create the instance and the object here will be initialized so that the second thread when it enters, it will give this, this condition false and it will return the same object. And now if you run this, you can see it says instance created only once. So even if you run this five to 10 times, it will give the same output which is instance created. It's because you are <coughs> it's because this block here is synchronized, right? So we have solved the problem of threads also. But hold on, don't you think uh, making your method synchronized, maybe this method get instance might be doing lots of work. If you have a, a, a huge amount of work need to be done by this get instance, it will decrease your performance by a factor of 100. So let's say if your system is working with a speed of x, this synchronized method will reduce your speed and it will take a time of 100x. So just imagine if, you're, if, you, if this execution takes only one millisecond, making it synchronized will take 100 milliseconds. And that's the issue with this synchronized method. Then question arises, how to solve this? So to solve this problem, what we can do is we can just remove this synchronized block here. Okay, and there is a concept we can implement here. There's something called as double check locking. So what is double check locking is you can instead of using synchronized method what we can do is we can use synchronized blocks. So using synchronized block you can achieve this uh, uh, singleton design pattern even with threads. Now how to use this double check locking that we'll see in the next part of the tutorial. So thank you so much for watching this video and do subscribe for further videos.